Jim Banky here with some licks that's going to get you through your, a break at, at a jam on a song that you might not know because that's going to happen. That comes up. It's a regular thing. And with these three ideas, now they're not really licks. They're mostly just ideas and a couple of fill-in licks, you can fake it. And, and you can have a good break to a song, and it's going to be a lot of fun. And so let, let's dive into this, and I'll, I'll show you how to just, well, we're going to learn how to cheat. But first, if you like this kind of content, if this is something that's helpful to you, maybe hit a thumbs up, hit a like button, and leave a comment. Do you use any of these ideas already? Let me know. If you want to help the channel grow and you haven't done it yet, and I know a bunch of you haven't, hit that subscribe button. It's totally free. And if you want to get notifications when I post more videos like this, ring that bell. All right. Now, let's get into this. Songs, when you encounter them in a jam session, they will start on one of three notes. Usually, not always, but a lot of times. And if they don't, doesn't matter. You're going to pick a note and you're going to go with it and you're going to hope for the best. And if it wasn't the best choice, next time it comes around, try something different. But it's going to be one of three notes. It'll either be your third string, it'll be your second string, or it'll probably be your first string. It's going to be one of those notes. I was standing so for uh Will the circle be unbroken? It starts there. Standing for a Blue Ridge cabin home. There's a world beaten path. Or if you did Rocky Top, it'd be your first string. Wish that I was. So we know it's going to start. Those songs will start on those notes. And, just, and if you poke around, you're going to find out that a lot of songs start very similar. Now there's cool ways to get to those notes instead of just hitting the open string. And that's where this starts to sound like banjo for you. All right, so let's look. So if I've got a song that's going to start on the third string, I was standing. We can use our two to five slide on the fourth string. Yeah. See, that's the same note. I was standing. I'm just using a forward and reverse roll. And if that's the only note that you get in the song, that that's one, one right note. And then you can play chords and rolls for everything else. So if your break came up, you could go... just play roles but we can look for where other notes happen but watch this let's say we did uh blue ridge cabin home there's a well beaten path we can do that with a cripple creek slide that slide two to four on the second or third string sorry there's a well beaten path instead of going well beaten path we can do a roll. And that gives us a more banjo sounding way to do it. What if we did Rocky Top? Then we can do our Foggy Mountain Breakdown leg. Watch. Doing that double hammer roll, the two one two one. And if you've done the Foggy Mountain Breakdown, then you've you've encountered that. So we've got three ideas. We've got and we've got and we've got and then with those three licks, we can build a, a tune. So let's look at. Mm, let's look at Will the Circle Be Unbroken. 
So will the circle B? So we need B, B. So what did we say when we hit the second string? That's a cripple creek. B and that goes to a C chord. So you're asking Jim, what do I do when it goes to a C chord? At this point in the game, don't worry about it. Grab a C chord, pick a roll. What roll? Don't care. Pick one. So I'm just going to do a forward and reverse roll. And now we need one other thing, a fill-in lick, a tag. And it can be any of the ones that you encountered if you've been through any of my lessons. So let's do that one. That's the pinch. And then the one, two, three, one with a pull off. And it ends on the third. So I was standing by my window. And then we can go to C chord. not the best break in the world but that's okay we're taking just a handful not even a handful just a couple of licks ideas concepts and twisting them and forcing them into a break so let's listen to it without me singing <laughs> It's not hitting all the melody notes, but the reality of it is, is it does work. And if we can get those three main notes, which make up a G chord, a G, a B, and a D, if we can hit those when they come up in the melody, and most of the time melodies are going to be within you're going to find a lot of melody notes that are chord notes. Not all of them, but enough of them that you can fake your way through a break by just playing those tones and licks and ideas without having to really have anything memorized. You can actually follow the guitar player, see what chord he's going to, and, and do something that works. You can get you can get away with a lot of and cripple creeks and a foggy mountain breakdown. Because those are in everything. Uh, so the foggy mountain breakdown, a good example. So if you will sit and hunt the melody notes, some bad morning when the snipe is over by far away. So our break would go some bad morning. We use the Cripple Creek slide. When this life is over. Now for a C chord. Just hold the chord. And do any roll you want. I did a forward and reverse. You could do alternating. You could do whatever. Way. And now we need a tag. A lot of times, when I say a lot of times, almost always, when you get to the end of a phrase, then this is where we put in our fill-in lick or a tag lick or whatever. So... So that we got slide, slide, C chord, just roll, tag, slide, and this B7, I'm just playing.
playing a role. Fly away tag. So you've got three licks. start just about every banjo break that you're going to encounter with. Now, is that going to get you all the way through? Probably not, but it will get you at least pointed in the right direction, and you'll start to hear how those licks work. But you, you could pick a song, pretty much any song. Uh, how about uh, Old Home Place? It's been 10 long years, 10 long years, it's been 10 long. So that's the second string. What do we use? We use our Cripple Creek roll. It's been 10 long. And now, watching the guitar player. Oh, he goes to B. Years And the C chord just forward and verse. Home See that tag? Holler, holler is on the third string. What do we do for the for third string? We do that. D7, just grab the chord. Where the cool, there's cool. So that's a Cripple Creek slide. Cool, goes to B, hold the chord. Nights make the and then the C chord, just hold it. What's G chord, and you can do, it's on the fourth. Rise, rise, and a fox. That's a third string. Fox, fox, fox. And what we do for the end, tag. And that, y'all, is how I drag myself through tunes that I've not maybe ever played before. But if I can listen to it and kind of get the melody in my head, then I can start building a tune. Let's think of another one that we could do. How about, um, let's do like the bluegrass version, the Shady Grove, not the minor version, but the like what the Dillards did. Uh, shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove, my darling, Shady Grove, my little miss, I'm going back to Harlem. So that one starts on the second string. So second string, Cripple Creek. Shady Grove, my little miss, Shady Grove. never wrong just to play the melody. Harlan, Harlan is a third string. What do we do on the third string? It's the two to five. Harlan. So here's our break. And now we've got a break and we just made it up. And you can do it too. And when you go out to the jam session and you're sitting, you know, maybe you're not comfortable with it yet, or maybe you're comfortable enough to sit in there. But if even sitting off to the back, try those licks one more time, just for the purpose of showing you. Repetition's a good thing, right? <laughs> to take you a long way. Now, I know that's not a huge breakthrough, but maybe it is for some of you. And so if, if, you're, if you're struggling to jam and you're trying to figure out what the best choice of lick is for you, now you've got some ideas to try. Folks, I've enjoyed it. Hope you have too. We'll see you real soon.